Hey guys, it's me Rana back again and this is a third video on AWS. In the last two videos, I'll show you how you can create account of AWS and next I'll show you how you can uh, install WordPress on it. And now it's time to show you guys how you can link your existing domain with AWS account. So let's get started. Let me show you how you can do that. Alright guys, let's get started and let me show you guys how you can link your domain name with Amazon AWS. So guys, if you don't have Amazon AWS account, you can create one. Uh, just watch my previous video and the next you need to install WordPress in AWS. Now it's time to link your domain name with AWS. Let me log in uh, really quick in AWS. So guys, you can see I've successfully logged in into Amazon AWS. Now let's go to EC2 under the compute column. Now click on instances. So guys, uh, in the previous video, we created this instance and now we need to uh, select this bar and uh, roll to the side. Let's copy this IP address. We need to copy this, select the IP control C to copy it. Now let's paste this IP into notepad. Next thing we need to do is go to this uh, services drop down button and then we need to uh, look for route 53 scroll down and uh, under the networking and the content delivery you can see route 53 let's open up this in a new tab so guys in here we need to create a hosted zone that will manage our dns records to create a hosted zone we need to click on get started now under the dns management now click on create hosted zone so guys and now here we need to type our domain name our existing domain name uh, in my example i have domain host bella.com leave the comment box blank and the type should be the public hosted zone and then click the create button all right now we need to create a few records let's click on uh, create a record set first record we need to create is a record we need to leave the name is blank and we need to type the value over here this ip address this external ip address paste this external ip and everything should be the same as mine then click on create and now let's create one more record click on create a record set now we're gonna create a c record under the name box let's just type www in the value type your domain over here and then click on create button so once you've done all these things now you can see now we have four records now let's go to our domain registrar in my case i have domain with godaddy and i am inside the my products and then i'm gonna click on dns and scroll down and click on changes under the name server and select the custom and here we're gonna paste these name records we're gonna copy and paste these four name records into our godaddy name server let's add two more and last one However, if you have domain from different domain registrar, the process will be the same. Just change the name server under your DNS records. Once you've done that, click save changes. Maybe we need to uh, delete this dot in the end. Now try to save this. All right, now we change the name server. It may take up to 10 to 15 minutes in order to work these name server now let's uh, try to open our website hostbella.com let's see all right in my case it took few seconds to connect with aws sometime it takes time uh, when we change the name server okay now let's try to log in into wordpress dashboard slash wp dash admin and uh, hit enter I spell wrong yeah okay username would be the user and uh, password gonna be your instance password so where you gonna find your password let me show you let's go to EC2 under the compute column services and EC2 and then click on instances 
and then select your instance and right click go to instance settings then click on get system log scroll down towards the bottom and you can see your bitnami application password right here copy this and paste right here and click on login all right guys as you can see now we have successfully logged in into our wordpress dashboard all right guys that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question regarding this video please uh, ask me in the comment section below if you haven't checked my previous video you can check out right here on the screen or you can go to the description box of this video so that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys in the next video